my name is Kylie and I come from California in the United States. So this is my fourth month living here in Shayla. I'm here working for a nonprofit called Global Pearls. Uh, we are a grassroots organization focusing here in particular on education, especially dis um, after the pandemic. So we're working with kids who had a lot of trouble with doing school online because they didn't have access to the resources or because they couldn't ask their teachers questions. And so we're here to kind of help um, establish some of those gaps, bridge the gaps to um, make sure that now that school is back in session, they feel like they are ready to learn and continue with their education. I could not have asked for a better place to live for my eight months here in, um, here in Shayla. So Casa Shayla who it's, very clean, you have running water, full access to kitchen. Um, everyone that works here is really nice and accommodating if there's anything that you need. Um, everyone here is so willing to help. I always feel safe. I love having my own space. I, it, it really is the perfect place to be living for now, yeah. Yeah, so I love living here in Shayla. Um, since my first trip here, I absolutely fell in love with the city. I just feel so comfortable here, and I love that it is surrounded by the volcanoes. I love seeing the nature in the area, um, and I also just like day-to-day -day life here. I like the pace of life. I like the way when you walk down the street, people say hello, everyone's friendly. Um, it really is just a great place to live, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, so Casa Shayla Hu is in the perfect location. You're in zone one in Shayla, so you're very, very central. It's about a five minute walk to um, Flores, which is the local market. It's about a 10 minute walk from one of the bigger markets. You have supermarkets, cafes, Central Park. Everything is close by. Everything is walking distance. It, the location is really, really convenient. So I would say that by this point, I know which streets to walk on, what time to walk at, all that kind of stuff. During the day, I have never felt unsafe. I feel like I can walk wherever I need to go as, you know, a woman who is clearly not from here and I feel totally safe. I tend to not go out very much at night because I feel so safe in the apartments here at night, so I don't feel the need to go out. I'm. I, I feel like I would still be very safe because I know where I'm going and stuff like that, but um, personally during the day is when I do most of my walking around and I always feel very safe. Well, some of the things in particular that I love about Quetzaltenango, um, as I mentioned, I do love the people here and I do love just the friendliness, the lifestyle. Um, I also like the pace of the city here. It's very different from living in America where everything is so go, go, go all the time, and so living here, I mean, kind of forces you to relax, which is not a bad way to live. Um, I also love the nature of the city, and I love seeing, you know, the volcanoes, the lakes, everything. Um, those are all just little things that, you know, when you look outside and you see nature, it really does just kind of brighten your day a little bit, and it's definitely one of the perks of living here. For my family, it was so great to show them around where I'm living. I think they were all really surprised. Um, I would say my dad especially was a little nervous about sending, you know, his baby over to another country to live, and so I think him coming here really eased some of those fears. He was able to see the city, see, first of all, how safe I felt, how comfortable I felt, and just really just see the city for what it is instead of a picture on the internet or something like that. And I think they really enjoyed being here and getting to know, you know, Shayla for what it really is. Yeah, so I've invited... Um, so I have, I've had a friend visit and then I've had my family visit here, but it's definitely a place where... I advocate for people to come to visit. I mean, even with some of the students that have come, I, I'm always curious how they hear about the city, um, just because it is not the most touristy of locations. And so, I, and I think that's part of the beauty of the city is it's not so filled with tourists and overrun that you feel like it's fake or that people are faking the culture. Like, you really feel how genuine it is. Um, and so I, it's definitely a place that I've invited people to come. I will continue to invite people back here because I do, I do love sharing, you know, what has become my home with other people too.